If the element to the left in the molecular formula is a metal, it will be named using the following rules. It will be the name of the metal plus the first syllable of the name of the negatively charged element and then the ending I. You need to remember there's a couple of exceptions to this rule. A small number of transition metals are named as metals and this is because they have a set charge. These are zinc 2 plus, silver plus, and scanadium 3 plus. And then there is a small number of metals that are named as transition metals. So even though it's a metal, it's not named using these rules. These two elements are lead and tin. The first one is NaCl. The element to the left is a metal. So I'm going to name it following these rules. It's the name of the metal, sodium, plus the first syllable of the name of the negatively charged element. That's the one to the right. This is chlorine. The first syllable is chlor and then we put the ide ending on it. So this would be sodium chloride. MgBr2, the metal in this case, is magnesium. The negatively charged species is bromine or bromide. And then notice here we don't need to include the fact that there's two bromines inside of the name. This comes from the fact that metals have a defined charge. And so we know the magnesium is always going to be two plus in this case. We know the bromine is always going to be one minus in this case. And so when we say magnesium bromide, this is the only molecular formula that you can come up with. So it's not necessary to talk about the ratios of magnesium to bromine. If the negatively charged species is a polyatomic, you just use the name of the polyatomic and you do not change the ending. So here, Na2SO4, the element to the left is sodium, is a metal. So it's the name of the metal, so it's sodium, and then just the name of the polyatomic, sodium sulfate. So it's very important to be able to look and see sulfate inside of this compound. Whenever I see three or more elements inside of a molecular formula, I start thinking that there might be a polyatomic inside of there. With this one, the element to the left is sodium, so it's a metal. The polyatomic is OH- or hydroxide. In this case, the name hydroxide has the ide ending in there. We got the ide ending by not changing the name of the polyatomics. Hydroxide remained hydroxide in the name. Here, calcium is a metal. So we use the name of the metal, calcium, plus the name of the polyatomic. Here, the polyatomic is permanganate. So the name of this molecular formula is calcium permanganate.